the Virginia, Virginia Tech has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. So this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, VTech. And that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. On play action, defense coming. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at the 36. So they get the first down on the quarterback scramble. This guy just showed what makes him a great dual threat quarterback. First and ten following that big run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. immediately tackled. Complete for six yards, and that's good for a first down. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Nice play to set up first and goal. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage that they took advantage of. Seven. That's, That's a gain, gain of one, one on, the on the play. play. That, that brings up second, second and goal. goal. From the seven-yard line, it's second down. Hey, 58 to Mike. Go on, 58 to Mike. Here we go. Green nine. They work the right side, and there's nothing going there. Boy, did you see how the defense just yeah, swarmed to the ball carrier? Play. That was fantastic that makes pursuit. It And he's tackled right away. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. 
So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Virginia Tech is up by four. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Big opening. Gets to around the 42. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of nine, nine yards. yards. First, First, down. Down. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Check, check. Alert predator. Got a man. Watch out here. And they push him out around the 43 yard line. That's a gain of 15 on the play. First down. From the 43-yard line, first down. Time to go, night, night. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59, Mike is 59. Go, Mike. Hey, hey, hey. Out of bounds at the 41. Call it a game two yards. That makes it second and eight. Let's go, let's go. Check 59, Mike. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws it in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. That's a gain of five on one play. That makes it third and three. So we're looking at another third down here. Virginia Tech holds a four-point lead. And he got it to the sophomore. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Check 59, Mike. Mike go. is 59, Six, Mike is 59. Six, 29. Tackle made at the 29. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. Second and 14. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's wrapped up for the sack. This is the 10th play of this drive. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-3, Hokey. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He gets it up. 
And he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Slings it. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 39. Number eight was the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 39. the stop at the 40 yard line. All the game of one yard. That'll make it third and five. Here we go. And he hits him hard at the 32 yard line. That'll bring up fourth and 13. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Well, that was a great punt, and there was even better coverage on the return. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Virginia Tech is up a score. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Ball on the 24. The back gets three on the carry. When you've got the experience that this safety has, you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. From their own 38-yard line. First down. He's out of bounds at about the 41. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. He scrambled, and he's tackled at the 46. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody opened downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Gets out to around the 45. That's a D. First down. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. He's going to try and scramble. The Hokies taking their first time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. Let's go, 
Now he's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up 39. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. He throws a dart to the left. Great concentration to pull it in. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. And he is drilled at the 33. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number four was the intention. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. A 58 is a mic. Here's the handoff, and he's brought down right away. Well, that's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established, and for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Booming kick. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Virginia Tech's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. Miami's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's third and 15. All on their own 26. Fires out quick, it's picked off. They'll bring him down right around the 30. And that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. First and 10. Ball on the 30. He's in trouble. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Bring him down for a sack on the play. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Just throws this one away. From the 11-yard line, third down. Touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation.
and he hits the PAT. A five-play, 29-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. The score now, 17-10. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, they're dialing up some good blitzes, disguising them very well. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. This is a good time for the defense to do even more damage, and I'm sure the crowd will be looking to help them out. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And down he goes at the 26. From their own 26-yard line, second down. We've played a half of football here. Virginia Tech's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Virginia Tech is up seven. Brought down at the 24. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. And they get the sack. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's taken down at around the 48-yard line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Go, D. Let's go. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. He fights forward to about the 46. Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. And he's leveled at 
the 46-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Virginia Tech up seven points. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's tackled in the open field. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. surprised if they went to the air again. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 46. away here on second down. Nice run there as they work the outside. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Ready. He makes it to the 35-yard line. 35-yard line. First down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. This is the 10th play of this drive. Picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Yeah. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. rid of it quickly this one will fall incomplete it can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes but that's probably a pick he should have made everybody bunched up tight defensively let's go in 
his face the second he faked the handoff. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Virginia Tech is up a score. They'll get him for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 32. So with one quarter remaining, the Hokies in front, 17-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Four down, four down. Check 59, Mike, Mike. He gets another carry. Nice run to the outside. That makes it 37. From their own 36-yard line. It's third down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Right. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The misdirection play gets him four yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 48-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it to the 25-yard line. I think we're getting to the point of who's going to crack first in this game. It's kind of a game of chicken. Which offense is going to be able to go out there and make a play against these two dominating defenses? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets out to around the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Here we go. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at about the 49. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. That's a great tackle at the 40. 
That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Ready! Got a man. Watch out here. He's out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That'll bring up third and long. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Fourth and long here after the sack. He really got a hold of that one. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Oh, here we go, Herbie. You gotta love it. The final few minutes, it's crunch time. Love to get into the fourth quarter with the game still yet to be determined. We'll find out who's gonna make a play to win this thing. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He gets to about the 41-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And they get nice yardage on that run. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first downs. They hand it off again. Good outside run there. Miami will take their final timeout. Keep it on the ground again. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Gain of five on one play. First down. From the 44-yard line. First down. Under a minute left in the game. They'll bring him down at the 36. That's a game. That's a game on one play. That makes it second and two. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. They're about four yards away here on third down. And this one's final. We had a tight defensive-minded game today. Scoring was at a premium. 17-10, Hokie. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? I'm sad to see this one end because it was a great game to watch. Miami played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.